Hey everybody, this is Chad Kaler, field agronomist with Vex Hybrids in East Central Illinois. Today I'm in a wheat field in Northeast Vermilion County, just southeast of the town of Hoopston. And I just want to talk a few things about some upcoming important uh, stages with the wheat crop and some management considerations. Right now, one of, the, one of the most important things is knowing how to stage your wheat crop because that can be very important for uh, scouting um, for diseases and insects and making application and management decisions. So first thing is, I just want a general comment that, you know, this wheat crop looks really good. This was planted in uh, last week of September, first week of October, timely for the area. Although the plant height is short and the growth stage is a little bit farther behind than what we normally would see at this date, May 8th. Uh, and that is mainly due to the cool or I should say cold April that we had, the second coldest April that we've had on record. So let's take a look at some things here down in the, down in the canopy of the plant. But the first thing is staging this crop. So currently what we want to do is we want to look at the base of the plants here and see if we can find any visible nodes down here. So here if you can see at the tip of my knife, we can see one visible node right there on that wheat plant. It's like a little bump. It's about one to two inches above the soil line in general, usually. If we move up that plant on the stem, we can see another bump, but it's not visible yet. You can feel it with your fingers, but it's not visible. It's still wrapped in that leaf sheath. So by definition, this plant would be fake six with one node visible down here at the base of the plant. This next node is about four inches above this first node down here. And once this second node is visible and unwrapped out of that leaf sheath, we'll be at feek seven. So again, feek seven is when we have two nodes visible on the stem. So at this stage, we're, we're definitely past the stage where we want to apply any nitrogen or any herbicides to the crop in this area. Uh, in fact, a lot of wheat in this area does not get any spring herbicide applied to it, but we definitely uh, are past the point of where we'd want to put any additional nitrogen on. So again, we're at Feeks 7 once this second node unwraps out of here, which is going to be fairly quick, fairly soon here in the next few days because of the rapid temperatures that we do have. The most important thing, the first stage as far as management decisions on fungicides is going to be flag leaf's timing. So how soon, the question is how soon are we going to see flag leaf emergence? And that does depend on temperatures a little bit and growing conditions, but in general, once we get to two nodes visible, this bottom one here and this next one right up here, once we get that, it's going to be about, in general, 10 to 14 days. So about two weeks from today, I'm gonna to say this wheat crop in this field is going to be a flag leaf emergence. And flag leaf is that top leaf on the plant, the last leaf that comes out on the plant before the head or the flower. So those two leaves, the top leaf, the flag leaf, and the leaf below it are the two most important leaves that contribute to grain yield. So those are the two that we wanna consider uh, definitely looking at for fungicide considerations for disease management. And we also wanna think about insecticide management at that time, mainly for armyworms. And on the disease side, we really want to look for powdery mildew down in the, the bottom part of the canopy or even in the middle canopy. We want to look for any kind of leaf rust or stripe rust and make sure these top leaves and definitely the top half of the, the plant is as healthy as we can get it. One of the things to look for with fungicides is using a mixed mode of action fungicide whenever you're making a fungicide flag, le flag leaf application. And in general, I recommend uh, Trivapro or a product called Nexacore. Trivapro is a Syngenta product. Nexacore is a BASF product. There are many on the market uh, today that contain mixed modes of action. Uh, those two that I mentioned before, Trivapro and Nexacore, have three active ingredients with different modes of action. There are many that have two, Quilt Excel, Preaxor, Stratego Yield, or a, a few that I usually tend to recommend depending on uh, a grower's budget and how well he wants to manage his wheat. So the other thing to look for at that stage is obviously going to be army worms. And the army worms are usually, during the day whenever you scout, are going to be laying down 
on the soil in a circle uh, during the heat of the day and then they may move up the plant at night and chew material and where they really cause damage is when this plant starts to flower and they start to cut the heads off of the plant so resulting in uh, major yield losses so that's just some things with the wheat crop right now we're a little bit behind schedule but this crop here at Feeks 6 today going to be at Feek 7 very soon is probably at around two weeks away from fully flag leaf emergence where we're going to plan on uh, scouting and making the decision to apply a fungicide and possibly an insecticide at that time. Thank you guys.